Hi guys, in this short video I'm going to show you how to get great effects finishing your MDF kits very quickly in only a couple of steps. In this video I'm using one of the 28mm uh, Gamecraft Miniatures Middle Eastern buildings, but these techniques can be used and applied to a lot of different MDF kits. So let's get right into it. So the first step is to pick the colors you want to use and paint your parts before assembling them. You can see here that I've got the uh, floor and ceiling over on the right and I've painted them with a, an aged concrete color. I've got the uh, windows, doors, and shutters above which are painted in sort of a, a blue and then the walls below which are painted in a yellowish uh, color. Uh, there's actually four walls but I'm only showing two right here right now. Um, so paint these parts first, whether you airbrush, as I did on the doors and windows, um, or use a foam roller, which I did on everything else, or use a brush, whatever technique you use, paint everything first. Um, I like to do my buildings in batches, so I bust out the foam roller and do a whole bunch of them at once, and that's what I did here. So once you have your parts painted, the next step is... Next step is painting the trim details. As you can see here on the walls, I've painted the uh, concrete bricks on the end of each wall. I've also painted the trim around the door. And then above the door is a wood beam and below the windows are wood beams. So I've painted all of those bits now. And from here we can take the parts out of the, uh, out of the wood here, punch them out and go on to the next step. So here we are at the next step, and that is gluing in the windows, gluing in the doors, and gluing on the shutters, or any other external details that, or internal details that need to be glued on. Doing this now makes it a whole lot easier than waiting until the building's assembled when you've got to reach inside and put things in. So we get all our windows, doors, and shutters on, and now we're ready to assemble the kit. Okay, so here's the model all assembled and put on the base and ready for the last and final step. All right, so the last step is uh, touching up the corners where they come together, the sort of finger joints, the ends of them were brown from the uh, laser cutting. You may have to go back to the last picture and see the difference between these two to see what I'm talking about, but I just used the concrete paint and just went down each corner and got the ends of those pieces of wood where the, where the brown laser cut marks were exposed and then you're essentially done. Now, of course, there's an unlimited number of things you can do after this, weathering, things like that. Um, even along the tops of the walls, the top edges, you got the brown cut marks there. You could touch that up with the, uh, with the original wall color. The insides of the walls, especially from the, from the roof up, those could be painted as well. But the way it's pictured right here, it's pretty much ready to go on the table and look pretty darn good the way it is. So that's it, four quick steps and an uh, infinite number of optional steps after that, but four quick steps and this MDF building is ready for the table. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video and possibly even learned something. If you're interested in this kit or any other kits in this series or any other kits on our site, go to gcmini.com and you'll find quite a selection there. Thank you very much again for watching this and we'll see you again real soon.